Francisco! We pay for those cameras. 
We pay for all of that, but yet you don't have the right to look at them because you're too stupid to understand what's on the video. The police chief here in San Diego has a camera on all the cops, but you can't see them without her permission. She's got to look at it first to make sure if you understand somebody murdering somebody or not. And then it comes out years, sometimes years later, it comes out. And we don't even know if that's even the true video that comes out. We can't trust them. The media who killed Francisco Serra, that he attacked them. We don't believe them. We believe that they're lying. They're always lying. And why would they lie? Well, they're not going to murder somebody and say that they're guilty. Of course they're lying. Now we're not saying all of me are doing and we're not saying all the cops are doing this. But too many of them are doing it and too many of them getting away with it. We have to organize. After this rally, after we go in there and tell the media how we feel about them, we're gonna have a meeting on July, on January, uh, January 7th at 2117 Logan Avenue on January the 7th, 2016. January the 7th, 2117 Logan Avenue at 6.30, at 6.30. This meeting is for those of you who want to help organize more protests, Next one we want to uh, emphasize on Valerie that was killed in Chula Vista by a, by a border patrol not even wearing a uniform. I thought he was thinking he was John Wayne. He jumped on the car and started shooting her. And what's her crime? Her crime was to get away from the area. That's her crime. What's Francisco's crime? Want to see his mother. We also have to forget a 16-year-old by the name of Noel Rojas, who was killed by the, by the San Diego police in 2007. We haven't forgotten about him. His crime was going through a stop sign. He tried to get away, and they put I don't know how many bullets in him. So these kind of things we cannot let happen because it could happen to you. I've been protesting for a long time. And I used to tell people, you know what? You should help us because it could happen to you. It could happen to one of your friends or somebody that you know real close. And sure enough, it did. It was Francisco. He played with my son and little children in my yard. Sometimes I had to chase them out of there because it's Carriesco. But they were good people. And I knew Francisco. I didn't know his mother very well. She's here. But I knew Francisco. And uh, we were friends. And I knew how he was. He did not attack the Mira. He surrounded by Mira. Who and buddy in their right, right mind is going to all of a sudden jump over the, the counter and start attacking Mira? There's over a hundred of them in there. We don't believe them. So this is for Francisco and his children that he left behind, and Valerie with the children that she left behind. And again, her, what is her crime? You know, to me, to the proper age, your crime, your crime is being Mexican. You being Mexican and Chicano, that's your crime. You were born that way, and therefore, you must be doing something wrong. Even if you're just walking down the street, Uh, we're going to have, uh, I'm finished talking, I just wanted to tell you why we're here, I'm sure all of you already know. But I want to say that phone number again, and that address again, because uh, we need help to organize. It's very difficult to organize. The parade, we're going to do our part, of course, we always do. But we need more people to help us to, to organize the work. We need to work for the, to set up the, get, 
transportation, we need transportation for publicity, we need transportation to, we, we need flyers, we ran out of flyers, we had 500, we gave them away, we need 10,000. So we need everybody to help out and to share on these things in order to get these demonstrations to be bigger. I think right now I'm going to ask uh, Trinidad, is she here? Francisco, the mom, the mamá de Francisco, va a hablar de opiniones de ella. Buenas tardes, uh, soy la mamá de Francisco, el muchacho que fue muerto por la patrulla fronteriza el 24 de diciembre del año pasado. Pues estamos tratando de, de recordarle a la patrulla fronteriza que el, no hemos olvidado el caso de Francisco, que seguimos luchando porque se haga justicia. Quisiera, pues pedirles a todos ustedes que cuando tengamos una reunión nos acompañen para poder salir adelante, para poder hacer justicia. Tenemos un año tratando de encontrar justicia por este caso, como otros casos que no se han resuelto. No queremos que quede impune, este, que se arregle algo, que, que, que se haga justicia y necesitamos apoyo de todos. Para nosotros este día es muy triste, yo sé que la gente pues festeja, es Navidad, viene la vida, todo. para nosotros no, porque pues nosotros no tenemos nada que festejar. La tristeza es más profunda cada día, ahora más en este día, que esperábamos a Francisco que llegara y hasta la fecha nunca llegó y todavía no ha llegado y nunca va a llegar. apoyo es lo único que necesitamos de todos ustedes para poder sacar este caso adelante y que la patrulla fronteriza pare de hacer tanta indignación tanto asesinato y ellos se quedan en la misma posición ellos no pierden trabajo ellos no pierden sueldo ellos no pierden nada nosotros somos los que perdemos cada día peor y peor, porque la tristeza embarga cada día más a la familia. ¿Okay? El no regresar Francisco a casa se, se pone muy duro todos los días. Esperamos su llegada, nunca llega. ¿Y ellos qué? Ellos bien gracias, recibiendo aguinaldo, recibiendo Christmas, recibiendo, eh, tratando mal a la gente. Tratando mal a la gente, ¿para qué? Para... Y todavía queremos estar aquí. Pero yo lo único que pido, tanto a las autoridades mayores, que, que se haga justicia, que haga justicia por este caso. Así es que pues es lo único que yo les puedo decir y gracias por acompañarnos. Yo sé que todos tienen familia, todos quieren festejar Navidad y gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Uh, is Brenda here? Can she come up here, please?
I love you. I love you guys. But there's, we're going to get stronger. And we're going to believe stronger because justice is going to be served. You know, because this is unjustified. And it won't, and I cannot stop. I cannot stop thinking about this. It's hard for me to even stand up right here right now because I just want to go over there and just start doing what I do best. But I can't because that's not the way we do things in America. There's a process, we understand that, and it's gonna be done righteously because we are righteous people. Thank you. If you guys wanna go home tonight, have family? You have a wife, kids? But hopefully, you guys don't have to go when we go through the pain of losing a, a loved one. For no reason, you murder her. The way you guys give each other high five, I can't do that to my daughter. She's not here no more. Oh, we shot you because we were afraid of where our lives. Only they didn't have any weapons except that. We were afraid, so we killed them. We were afraid. That's why we had to kill them. We were afraid. Valerie was going to kill them. How many people are you trying to kill today so they can make it home to their families? Matones! Matones, cabrones! Exactly. That's what you guys Feliz Navidad, matones. We have the right to come home. You guys get to go home to your family. You deserve that right away. Goodbye, brother. You didn't deserve to die like an animal the way you guys treated him. You guys can quit right now. Take off your back. You guys don't deserve that bad. You guys don't deserve those guns. You guys don't deserve it. Are we taxpayers? All I was going to do was come over here to get an idea of how long you guys would be out here. That was my only thing. We'll be here as long as it takes or just This is their port and this is everything else. I'm my stuff is traffic stuff and that's all I'm Okay then with. what are you doing here asking us? I just know. to find out how long you're gonna be here guys. We that can be here as long as we can. We, we have okay. a peaceful protest here right now. Okay. So as long as we have a peaceful as, protest, you can't bother and you us. have every right to that and I'm okay. not bothering you. Right? You don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. I don't I don't wanna talk to you. Turn around and I, I don't way, expect you do nobody else want. to talk to you either. Okay. Thank you. No! 